Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Brown from Boston, Mass. Yes, I know. Yesterday's game was insane against the Colts. Yesterday's Pats game against the Colts was insane. I know, I get it. I get it. You know, we won. I'm glad we won the AFC Championship. You know, 45-7 to 7 over the Colts. Yes, and I get it as well. We all knew that Andrew's luck ran out at Gillette. But, you know, the game's over. We won. So, Patriots, hold the celebration. You still got work to do. You still got to practice. Yes, y'all do. Patriots, Tom Brady, Robert Gronkowski, got to keep practicing. So, yeah, so I hope you guys got plenty of rest. And make sure you have plenty of rest because you're going to need it, especially if you're going to be flying out to Arizona. Now, as for fellow Patriot fans, if you do see a Colts fan at Logan or TF Green Airport, please be nice to them. Yes, please be nice. And Colts fans, if you experience Pats fans being jerks towards you, I apologize. I really do. And I wish y'all have a safe flight back to Indianapolis or wherever your destination is. And thank you for your time here in New England. And I hope you'll come back soon. So safe travels back to Indianapolis or your destination. Now, as for fellow Patriots fans and Seahawks fans flying out to Glendale, Arizona for the Super Bowl, Always, you know, double check the policy, the baggage policies, depending on what airline you're flying with. And also, like, make sure, you know, what's the policy such as what to bring and what not to bring on the plane. Because as you already know, due to 9-11 and other events, you know, that security has been tightened. Yes, it has been tightened, especially you know, with the elbow or elbow and stuff like that. So, I gotta say, so make sure you know what to bring, what not to bring. Look at the website, double check if you have to. That's what you gotta do. And also, check in with a doctor to make sure you're feeling like, you know, healthy and well because. If you're not feeling any good, you can be turned away by security. Who knows? I could be wrong, because that's just the event after the Ebola outbreak that was going on over the summer. So just make sure you're healthy and well. And also, due to the intense search that's increased recently, I think it's always a good idea to, like, arrive at the airport like an hour, two hours, maybe three hours before your flight leaves. Because sometimes going through TSA security as well as state police during pat down searches, you know, it can take a while depending on the line. So like I said, it's always a good idea to get there an hour, two hours, or at least three hours early before your flight leaves. I know it's a long wait, but you at least be on the plane just in time. You won't miss your flight. So, yeah. Guys, so let's, you know, save travels out there. And same goes to Seahawk fans. Like I said, check, check what you can bring and what you can't bring on the plane. Double check the policies, the baggage policies. I'm like, you know what it is. You know what the deal is. So... Everyone, like, have a good flight, safe flight back to, safe flight to Arizona, and have a great time at the Super Bowl. Now, as for fellow Boston and Patriot fans, as well as Seahawk fans in the New England and Seattle area, if you're going to have a Super Bowl party 
at your house or apartment. Or if you're going to like a cater a party and it's going to be alcohol, I get it. You know, I get it. We all want to party. We want to get drunk. We want to get wasted during the game and celebrate. But responsibility always matters. So please, if you're going to drink, party, please drink responsibly. And... And if you're going to have a party, it's always a good idea to have like a, you know, a sober bouncer and sober security as well. And also, you might not like this one, but it's also a good idea to like, you know, pat down and search your guests to make sure there's no weapons on them, such as knives and guns. Because really, when you have like guns, knives and alcohol that can be really dangerous. That can be seriously dangerous, having that. Because sometimes, you know, misunderstandings happen. But when, in, when you have an argument over a misunderstanding, you know, that can lead to someone either getting wounded or killed. And, you know, we don't want that because whoever hosts the party can be held accountable for, for what went down. They can be. I'm I'm not trying to like, you know, be anyone's boss, but I'm just trying to like encourage people to do the right thing when they like hosting a party or catering a party or etc. So like I said, you know, please drink responsibly, have a good time. You know, enjoy the game. And as for restaurant employees as well as owners, I know you're already stocking up on beers, alcohol, or food, or whatever you got to do. And I know pizza stores, they're already getting ready for that as well. I know they're excited because they you know business be booming and stuff. But like I said, for restaurant owners and employees, I know you expect a huge crowd because of the Super Bowl and stuff, but... It's always a good idea to double up on security and stuff like that, you know, because like when you have like a sports and, and alcohol, it can get out of control. Yes, it can get out of hand and sometimes it can be dangerous. And don't forget that if you feel the person had enough to drink, you have the authority to cut them off. You have the authority to say you had enough. So, like I said. You feel they had too much to drink. You have you have the authority to cut them off, and you also have the authority to kick them out. Because if something happens after they got drunk at one of your at your establishment, you could be held accountable for it. You can. I'm like that's what happened to Robert Kraft a while back. Even though the person died in a car crash, didn't buy alcohol from one of his premises, but. Still, you can still be held accountable because they came from your establishment. So I do urge you no know, restaurant owners and employees in New England and Seattle areas to like double up on the bouncers, make sure no one gets out of hand. And also, if you're going to go to a bar or a restaurant with friends and drink, get drunk, stuff like that, you know, it's always a good idea to bring at least one person sober. So, you know, they can check you if you're getting out of hand and out of line. And it's always easier for security and bounces as well at the establishments. And if you see that your friend is getting out of control, out of line, or doing something stupid, don't be afraid to take him or out her, the other room or outside to talk some sense into them. Don't be afraid of that. If the person doesn't like it, then that's their problem, not yours. Like I said, don't be afraid to take your friend outside if he or she's being drunk and stupid. You know, just talk some sense into them. I'm like, don't try not to be a jerk about it. I know sometimes, you know, some sometimes drunk people 
don't understand because they're obviously too drunk to understand that. But, you know, you got to talk some sense to them. You got to be firm with them. So, you know, like I said, it will make it easier for bounces and security as well if the, if the patron's friend talks some sense to them. Like I said, they'll take them outside, talk some sense to them, check them. That's it. No harm done. And also, in the case I wasn't clear, you know, please drink responsibly, be responsible, respect bartenders, you know, don't tip bartenders in change because, well, if it's a bunch of quarters, like, you know, quarters, depending on how many, if you do four quarters or whatever, if you tip them in change, that's an insult. That is. I'm like some I'm like some bartenders will take it as an insult. Some don't because I know quarters can be useful for doing laundry and stuff. I'm like personally, if somebody gave me five dollars in quarters, I'm like, it'll be easier for me because I do laundry with quarters. But some other people might take it as an insult. So yes. Give them a good tip and stuff like that. Make it at least forty percent or maybe twenty five percent. But it's up to you. But, you know, tip your bartenders. Don't forget. And wait staff as well. So just have a good time, everyone. And remember, if you're going to drink during the Super Bowl, get drunk, get wasted, whatever. Remember, drive sober or get pulled over. Over the limit, under arrest. You drink, you drive. You lose. Please remember to have a designated driver. Make sure you do. If you don't have a designated driver, call a cab or use mass transit. So it's a good idea to start planning now. So if you're planning to do whatever, you, you know, go to a bar, cater a party. It's a good idea to start planning like right now. And like I said, this video is not to target people. This is about encouraging people to do the right thing, you know, how to celebrate responsibly. That's what I'm saying. So, like I said, drive sober, get pulled over, over limit, under arrest, you drink, you drive, you lose. So this is Joshua Brown from Boston, Mass. Have a good time, everyone, and go Patriots.